Yes, exactly. <laughs> Good morning. We're fixing to get started here on a pretty wild job. We're gonna trim down this huge field with weed eaters. It's, uh, I won't lie, it's about an acre large, maybe slightly less, maybe slightly more. I, I don't know exactly. I haven't, haven't gone out there and measured it, but it's, uh, it's pretty damn big. We're gonna need that. Uh, we're gonna need everything in there. I'm sure that bag and uh, getting suited up here with a strap and everything. I have two trimmers today, thanks to Charlie. Charlie uh, was kind enough to loan me his uh, FS91. Someone who's not in the business, he still anymore. He still has a lot of good equipment. It's bizarre. All right, we're gonna need that gasoline too, right here. And go ahead and grab the machete, just in case. I don't know if we'll need it. You can take your backpack if you'd like. I don't just, need it. I mean, just lock the door. Okay. I'm all right. Cool. All right. Grab that line if you don't mind. Can you carry them both? Yeah. Perfect. All right. On you. Say hi, Isaac. What's going on? Got a helper today. It's a rarity these days, but. <laughs> All right. So this one, this job is a. Uh, this is one of my normal bi-weekly properties that we do here, and. Uh, it's not due for normal service till this upcoming Wednesday, but there's a big back field back here that's uh, in a very tricky part and hard to access. Really the only way to get to it is uh, down the embankment through the side here. It's uh, very sketchy to get a mower through. You might be able to get a push mower through. Back when I used to run those 30 inch mowers, um, I was able to get 30 inch through there, but I don't have those mowers anymore. And in all honesty, it's very uh, unsafe to attempt to get a mower through such a slope like this. Even the uh, standards, which they say they're made made for that, they're, uh, they're not fun. It's not a good idea to try and do that. So, all right, this is the, uh, <clears throat> this is the jungle that we are uh, taking on here right now. Okay, and this, yep, I remember it kind of where the line is, so let's go ahead and get uh, started a little bit here. So it's, we don't have to go down the embankment or anything. Just just kind of, you know, you can kind of still see where I mowed it last time. This, it's all of this stuff that's normal that's a little bit less high than this not that stuff not that stuff we can cut it if we want to but okay so we'll just make this stuff what kind of what i did last time was i just did a line through yes. here yes that's and you can see I kind of and those that tree line over there is not or they're not their property that's the city gotcha. city's property yeah. gotcha let's actually let's switch know. let's switch trimmers that's fine just since that's charlie's i want to that's fine go ahead and use his we got extra line that good one that didn't work Nope, I just sharpened that thing too, so. Well, apparently not. <laughs> <coughs> well, the end, the tip wouldn't sharpen too good. Here you go. All right. The line is good on that trimmer head. Okay. I just filled it up a few minutes ago. Very nice. I haven't used that uh, trimmer in a while, so it probably needs fuel. Just needs a little extra oomph. Ooh. They probably actually both need, uh, both need gas here. I would take the battery trimmers out here and uh, play with those, but I already know the answer to that question. How well would that work? Mm. Not too good. Yeah, you might need several batteries for that. I have one. several batteries. I'd oh, probably yeah, go yeah. through them all. Yeah, <laughs> and still be halfway done. Yeah. <laughs> They're great for uh, maintenance. They're not as great for overgrown things. I have used them on several overgrown properties, including this one when it was overgrown, and uh, they do not do terribly well with that. All right, I'm just gonna leave that right here. Yeah, go ahead. All right, we're gonna see what good footage we can get here. Hopefully, we'll uh, hopefully we'll get some good stuff here. Alrighty. 
Yeah, I mean, like I can already see like the line and. Kind yeah, of we kind of just need to make hit the to, gist of it. Yeah, we just need to kind of stick to that line, and if we go more, that's fine. If we want to go a little more, whatever, you know. But all right. The, basically the bulk of it is we need to get Ooh, that uh, got himself a little strap I like it. <clears throat> yeah it's actually an echo strap but yeah it's uh using it here come on there we go these steels are filled with nature you know
perimeter. Wow. I've forgotten how much vibration these trimmers have. These gas-powered trimmers. I've been using battery for so long. All right, let's get some more footage. Thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. I'm sitting here uh, recording this or uploading this on uh, Easter Sunday here. This, uh, this work that Isaac and I did was done yesterday, yesterday morning, in uh, preparation for the uh, Easter Sunday holiday. Um, uh, Resurrection Day, as we also uh, refer to that. Um, as uh, believers and followers of Jesus Christ, uh, as as I am, and you know, as we are, um, I uh, wanted to talk about this job and how this job came about. Um, we did this job for a bi-weekly client of mine that I mow uh, the yard for every other week. This uh, city. Or not city. This this section of their property that they own is actually uh, normally maintained by the uh, by the city here. Um, however, due to how the city operates, they uh, they don't maintain it very often. It's usually um, usually done every uh, maybe every like month or two months, something along those lines. So they. Uh, they don't. Uh, they don't keep up with it as often as you know. I do keep up with their uh, their main lawn as uh, lawn clients of mine. The uh, the issue is the issue what with this job was that they um, they were doing. They have like a uh, Easter kind of family get together where they I guess do a Easter egg hunt or like a family gathering out here in this you know in this area. It's a very nice open open field area, very close to nature, and, uh, you know, they uh, use this to, I guess, connect, you know, with the family and everything, and that's, that's awesome, that's a great, that's a great thing to do, um, but of course, you don't want to do that if you're, uh, you don't want to be out there if your grass is, you know, three feet tall or higher, you know, or even, you know, overgrown at all, really, you know, you want the, you want the grass to be clean and clear and maintained, you know, and that's, uh, that's what we did uh, coming in here. Um, I did the same job for them last year at this time. Uh, the difference last year was uh, I had the uh, Exmark Commercial 30 mowers uh, that I that I no longer have. I sold those um, at the end of last season um, during my uh, surgery recovery. My I kind of changed my business strategy a little bit, so I got away from those 30s, which were really heavy and really hard to maneuver. I went back to um, 21 inch mowers as my finish mowers, but the 30 inch mower when I had it over here, it uh, it had you know it obviously has the side discharge chute, so I was able to side discharge all this grass, and uh, being that it was a 30 inch, I was able to you know kind of hug that embankment a little bit better and you know not not risk losing the mower down the uh, down into the creek ravine area, so. That was why we weren't uh, weren't able to get the stander uh, through here, and absolutely not get a zero turn uh, over here. It is uh, it is a possibility that I could have, if I had a better relationship with the gentleman with the open yard, open backyard up there, that I could have potentially used his backyard as an easement access point. However, um, that gentleman uh, and I do not have a uh, friendly uh, relationship, unfortunately. He uh, requested a bid a couple of years ago for a job and got upset at the price and that sort of thing. You know, it, it happens from time to time, but basically we don't work for them and they're, uh, they're, not, um, they're not somebody I could just, you know, drive a lawnmower through their yard to get back here and then expect there not to be, you know, consequences or, 
you know, even so, if I were to knock on their door to ask, hey, can I use your backyard to, you know, can I drive through your yard to get back to this field? Um, the answer would, would be no, so. And you gotta respect that um, in business. You gotta, you gotta respect that, and you gotta be conscious of other people's other people's requests, especially when you're near, on or near their property. You know, you don't want to violate someone else's property in order to, you know, get a job done, which is why we're, which is why we're back here with weed eaters, you know, cutting down this half an acre or however large it was, lot here, so. Um, yeah, it's Re Resurrection Day, he is risen, um, risen indeed, and I know not everybody who follows this channel is a uh, is a follower of Jesus Christ, but I am, and um, I'm not working today, just uh, relaxing and reflecting, you know, on my life and spending some time with my family and you know doing doing good things here on a uh, on an Easter Sunday. So um, this job, we're, uh, this was one of the biggest jobs I've done this year so far. It's the only it's the only time thus far yet that I've needed to. Uh, you know, bring in another guy to help me out, and uh, Isaac's a good friend of mine, I've known him for a long time, he uh, works for another landscaping company, so he's not, he's not always able to help me out, but luckily when he is, he's, uh, he does a great job, and he's a, he's an outstanding, uh, outstanding worker, he knows his way around equipment, and that's the biggest thing with this, you know, when you hire somebody out, you want somebody that knows how to handle the equipment and is going to do a quality job, a job that you can be, you know, confident when you send, you know, the customer the bill that they're not going to go back there and, you know, say, hey, you missed a bunch of stuff or you damaged some stuff or, you know, you you want the people you can trust to work with you and it's it's a common problem in the business or in any industry really. Hard, it's hard to find. Let's say good help is hard to find, you know. And, Sometimes, you know, that's true, unfortunately, but, um, yeah, I just want to, you know, say thanks to Isaac for helping me out with this, and, uh, I'm very, uh, grateful that I was able to, uh, have him help me out here, and, um, hopefully we'll get to collaborate again at some point in the future, so. Oh, man, reflecting on this day, uh, it's been a good, uh, been a good season thus far for me. I hope everybody else that's watching this has had a great season as well. And you know, it's still early in the year, but uh, we're gonna keep on going and have a great, uh, have a great lawn maintenance season here. I don't know if I'll do any more jobs that are quite this, uh, quite this extensive as far as you know, raw weed eating or whatnot. But we will see. Thank you.
Wow. That was wild. Hey, I forgot we got to do all that over there. Kidding. <laughs> Whew, wow. I think we're, uh, I think we reached kind of the limit of what the uh, FS90 series trimmer can handle with this uh, tall, heavy, thick stuff right in here. Wow. Huh. All right. Um, we're mostly done. Let me do a quick little walk around here and see. Oh, clean off my glasses just a hair here. Listen to that nice peaceful water flow here. And that nice beautiful car noise up there. Actually a really nice little little area down here. Really peaceful, kind of cool, cool little place. Oh, I'd say that's probably, I don't know, probably a quarter of an acre, maybe? Yeah. Maybe not exactly, maybe not exactly an acre, but mm, no, probably quarter, quarter of an quarter acre, maybe? Half, maybe. Half at the most. Something along those lines. Whew. All righty. I think we actually will do a little bit up here, too, just so they have a walk path to get through here. But that's not that bad. Just this little area here. What'd you think? Did you have fun? Oh yeah. <laughs> that was still not as bad as the lakes, but that was that was fun. That was old time. Oh lord. I, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a video on the Grapevine Dam one of these days. You will hear y'all will hear that story. That wasn't my uh, my worst day in lawn care, but it was it was close. It's probably my second worst day in lawn care in all in all reality. So, nice. all right, let me. Uh, we're gonna trim this little side deal right here real quick, and then that'll be that'll be it for this one. All right, just got the little uh, pathway here cut down as well. So now walk all the way through to get to over here with no obstructions. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty pretty good workout. <laughs> Man, it's one of the biggest jobs I've done in a while. Like I was saying, uh, I, I'm used to the battery trimmers now and they have like no vibration. So this oh, one vibrates oh, a bunch. And, yeah, yeah, the I'm vibration like, I is- I gotta switch back and forth between Yeah, I because... always do that too. To, to relic, oh, man, it's been a minute since I held one of these. Regulate the, uh, yeah, I thought about trying to bring the 94 back through here instead because it's so much lighter, but I was thinking, I was expecting it all to be tall. And yeah, I was, I was expecting it to be all the whole thing to be this tall. And so it's like, yeah, there's there's no way that that 94 is going to cut through this. It's It doesn't have enough torque. 90's probably on the slow side, small side for that in all, in all reality. All right, let's uh, fun, fun, fun. wrap up here and we'll, uh, oh, here's your drink. Yeah, thanks, sir. We'll uh, get on out. Oh. This strap didn't do as good as I thought. You were. It got, uh, <laughs> got in the way. Ooh. It did. It really, it really got in my way. I won't lie. I was, uh, I was pretty pissed off at it for, for a minute. Yep. Back in the lake days, I tried mm -hmm. like, to um, use the strap. Yep. You know, but like after a while, it was actually more harm than yeah. You know, than actually helping. Seems that way. Yeah, I hear you. All right. Gotta be careful along this treacherous walk path here, and even more so up this uh, walking up this creek embankment. I probably need to take a couple of still photos. So once we put the uh, once we put all the uh, tools up, I'm gonna walk back through here and take a couple of uh, pictures of it, just so just to send to them here. So, all right, giving y'all the full uh, full tour here, so we, you can see how uh, how far we had to traverse on foot to get through here really not terribly bad you know there's I'm sure there's others that are a lot worse but it's definitely not as easy as riding a mower too you know 
if we could have got the uh if we could have got professor moriarty through there it would have been would have been really nice but it is what it is Gotta confess, as bad as that was, it really wasn't as bad as I was thinking it was gonna be at first. So, we dodged a bullet there. What? Yeah, dodged inside of a dodge. Yeah, you, you got it. Saturday morning cheese. Sure, something like that. All right, this has been a Big Red Services production. All rights reserved. <laughs> Do what? Yeah. Featuring. Featuring Zikai here. Zikai. Yeah. All right. And uh, over and out. Happy Easter.